Samantha here and welcome back to another episode of University Life and look y'all look Audrey even got invited to a island party at the bluffs Sophie actually must have really been it was impressed with Audrina she's asleep right now y'all and part of me is like this is the first day of school why in the world would we go but I feel like Audrina should go so we're gonna actually go I, I hope this doesn't blow up in my face but we're gonna go all right, y'all. So this is the first day of school and Audrina is totally being irresponsible, but she's like a, a teen, right? She's like 18 years old. What is Victor Fang doing here? Anyway, she needs to use the bathroom. So as unladylike as it is, I know there's a bush. Oh, here, go one over here. I'm about to say, I know there's a bush over there. We're going to go fertilize this bush because last episode I had all sorts of weird glitches going on and I ended up taking the little Sam mod that I comp commented on. I took it out of my game. So I'm hoping that it'll help with the um with the uh the glitches i you know it's, it's weird when you're dealing with oh i'm about to say girl if you don't go use the bathroom when you're dealing with using mods and stuff you always have that risk of something possibly going wrong so whenever that happens i just highly recommend you just take things out and then try it again so unfortunately some mods are kind of hard to live without that would be like mc command mod but if it starts glitching up on me and it affects my game I might have to let it go. I might have to let it go. Anyway, I was trying to get rid of some of these old crazy sims that my game would generate, but apparently I missed one. I don't even know if she's an elder. She's a young adult. Why does she look like she's an elder? She might get a makeover off camera. So uh, anyway, so we definitely have to go finish using the restroom. She wants to watch Victor. I don't know. But anyway, let's go talk with uh, Zoe a little bit. I know Zoe, Sophie, and uh, discuss neighborhood. Why are we just, oh, we got some more people here. We got Alpha. But Epsilon in the house, Aspen, and we got Eduardo Harmonson. I don't know who that is. I didn't create him for this, but I remember her. I got her from the gallery. And then we also got Josh Copeland, who I remember him as well. So we got some people here. Josh, I thought, was part of, was a student, but maybe, maybe I forgot to put him. Oh, no, he might be in the dormitory. He might be in the other dormitory because there's another dormitory full of other um, Sims. Anyway, so we're just gonna come over here and talk with Sophie a little bit. We, it, it's, it's gonna be, uh, I guess we'll brag about being a curry champion. I don't know. Uh, let's discuss some favorite recipes. She wants to get to know Sophie a little bit though, and maybe get to know some of the other Sims here. We got Emily is from Beta 5 Pi as well, and I think she is too, yeah. So, um, I think all the other Sims are just like regular, yeah, the regular game Sims. I did get rid of some of them, but I didn't get rid of all of them because I didn't want it to like generate. Ooh, is she arguing with me? Oh, okay, Sophie, I'm on that. Like, what did I ask her about that? Was she arguing with me? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so did Sophie pull us out of here for like a little? Oh, y'all, she is not happy right now. Or was she fussing at Jeffrey? I'm confused. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I think I'm going to talk with her a little bit. Let me see. Help fix bad relationship. Is it with Jeff? Oh, it's with Jeffrey. So she was arguing with Jeffrey a bit. Okay, this old man girl should not be affecting me. He should not be bothering you. She's going to be like, well, you and Jeffrey need to just work it. You never know. He might be your boss someday, Sophie. Like, like get it together, girl. Sophie's like, you don't know. That little such and such just gets on my nerves. He's always at all these rave parties. And he's always messing up. I don't know what she would say. What is going on with this girl's shoes? I need to give her some um some better shoes. What in the world? I was looking at wait somebody else too, and I was like, I need to give this person a makeover. I forgot who it was. It might have been last episode. Anyway, let's go introduce ourselves to Aspen. She's another and then Emily here for the introduction. Josh is going to be another person that is uh, part of the university uh eduardo I don't, he's not one but if he ends up coming to class i might give him a big over at the same this lady miranda because a lot of the young adults will just like well some of the elders to y'all when i played this pod before some of the elders will come to school. But anyway so uh she's hungry oh my gosh there's like no bar here or nothing for us to grab something to eat is there like something that we can harvest does she have anything in her pocket besides homework? Oh, gosh. She can't eat homework. Okay. This might have to be the best idea. She's hungry, and she has her first class in a couple of hours. But, y'all, real talk? This is how college was so fun. I don't know about you guys. I mean, come on. I got to get closer to this. Get closer to people. I'm not going to lie. 
I used to live, I lived in Louisiana. We would totally have class Thursday morning at 8 o'clock and Wednesday night at 1 in the morning. We would go drive to New Orleans to go to bar hopping and then come back just in time to go to class. But she don't tell nobody I told you that. But I would totally, I would totally do that. But anyway, um, we got to get ready for school. So I'm going to actually just end this in early. It'll probably end up affecting us a little bit. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to kind of suggest some fun activities to Sophie. Uh, okay, she's leaving. So we could probably go back home and try to hurry up and get ourselves together before school because we got 20 minutes and we got to go to school, y'all, as well as everybody else. So she's just talking to Sophie real quick because she's like, you know, let's get ready to go to school. I don't know if she would really say that, but we're going to end the party anyway. We're going to at least end our part of the party so we can get ready to go to school. I hate for her to be late on her first day, so let's head back to the house. All right, y'all, we are back at home and really quickly, I'm going to try to go in here. Let me see what's in here that we could kind of take with us. Uh, we have a tiramisu and we have some fish tacos. Uh, looks like he did cook for us, but a tiramisu really. Um, all right, y'all. Well, let me see if I can just buy a snack. Let's just buy a sandwich really quickly. And then, uh, okay, cool. Is that our sandwich? Is that our sandwich? Is our Okay, cool. That's our sandwich. So let's put it in our pocket. Uh, too bad. Can I make it into a sack lunch? Let's do a sack lunch. You know what? She might actually end up going inside. So I'm actually going to just have her. She's embarrassed right now. What are you embarrassed for? Oh, she made an awkward comment. Okay. All right. So we are going to send Angel alone. We're going to send Jessica alone. Uh, we're going to send Brady alone. And we're going to send Colin alone. And we're going to send Sean alone. <laughs> we're going to send Amory alone. Eventually, we'll get down to Audrina and we'll go with her as soon as. There we go. So we're going to join Audrina. All right, guys, first day of college. Welcome to university. Here you will make new friends, enemies, learn more knowledge and more. But that's not all. If you pass, you'll be automatically promoted to level four of your dream job. If you fail, however, you'll waste a lot of simoleons. Uh, I guess unless you have mother load on, I don't I don't know. But anyway, um, this is our fine arts building from the university. I did take Magnolia Promenade. I actually did this during the um, the the. Uh, what am I trying to say? The mod overview. I took Magnolia Promenade and made it into like a little college town. We got the music building over there, the PE building over here. And then here is just like a little coffee shop arcade type thing for like if the Sims want to just let off some steam after school or whatever, they could just go right there. I see a ton of them making their way to school. Look like everybody's running a little bit late and behind. It's 8.06. Here goes some more. I know she's part of another dormitory. I think she's part of Alpha, yeah, Alpha Epsilon. Um, and wait. She's a fine arts design. Oh, she's a professor? She's supposed to be in the major. That's weird. Anyway, no biggie, no biggie. Uh, so we're here at school, and I think the first thing we need to do is go greet somebody. So let's see if anybody is here already. We could kind of see who's here. Alonzo Hoover. Okay, let's check out Alonzo really quickly. All right, Alonzo. Okay. He is actually going to be who? Oh, he's just part of the major fine arts. He's part of Beta. Beta Chai, which I think is the smart, um, the smart, uh, the smart fraternity, golly. And then we got here, we got Spencer Maxwell. He's another Kappa. Oh my gosh. Why well, he's all bored already. And then we got here, um, who is this girl? Um, I forget who I put in the majors for our, for our classmates. We got Willow. She's an Alpha, Alpha Epsilon as well. And then here's another Beta Phi Pi member. So that's some of the sorority members. And then we got Bryson, who is another smarty guy, uh, part of Beta Chi. So I don't know. I don't know if she's going to join like a party group right now. She's kind of in good with Sophie, it seems like. Um, then looks like we had another Beta Phi Pi and another Beta Phi Pi. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which, right now she's kind of good friends with Sophie. I was impressed that Sophie actually invited her out when I was like trying to get ready to record. I was like having her sleep and then that little pop-up came up and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so she might end up being a, um, a Beta Epsilon, what, what did I say? Alpha Phi Chai. I, no, Alpha Phi Pi. Wait, what? I don't remember the fraternity. Y'all, I just made up the sorority names. Beta Phi Pi. She might be a Beta Phi Pi member. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's do a friendly introduction. We're just greeting everybody. First day of school. Let's do a friendly introduction here. All right, cool. And then we need to chat with classmates 10 times. So let's take care of that. Let's get to know him. Let's talk to this guy, discuss interests. Right now, there's not any feuds or any types of uh, things like that. Okay, who is this? Huh? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Yo, they got some eye candy in this game file. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, you can't deny there's not eye candy all in this game file. Look. Oh my goodness. I'm like drooling at the mouth. 
I'm, I'm, I'm being silly, y'all. I'm being silly, but no, I, I do like a good looking sim. You guys know that already. Anyway, let's brag about being a curry champion. She must have got that on that episode where um they went to the curry festival. I mean, the the, uh, the spice festival. Because I'm like, why do they keep coming up? I don't remember her being a curry uh, fan, but whatever. But maybe she did. Oh, I forgot to mention this the last episode too, y'all. I don't. This is a whole other save file, so she's not in the same. I mean, she's still in the same. Okay. There's two. There's two Audrey. Let's put it that way. She's still the other Audrina is still in the other save file, but I did take her and put her in the save file, and that was only because I didn't want Ashley. I didn't want the family to be popping up. I want to make it seem like she's in a whole other town, you know, out to school. So, um, but whatever happens to her in here, she will get transplanted back into that save file. If that makes any sense. So I'm gonna be going back and forth. You guys will probably see little the same situation. Like if she gets a boyfriend, and she wants to bring him home to meet mom, then he will be put into that LP. So they're gonna be like some crossover uh, situations and episodes and stuff like that. So um, let's con okay. Congratulations on this promotion. Discuss work. Wait. Oh, whoa. That was a weird flatter. I wasn't trying to do like a a romantic flatter. He kind of took it like I was meeting something. Okay. Let's get to know a little bit. All right. Cool. So we did. Our 10 out of 10, uh, I guess we can come over here and do some classic painting. Let's just do a medium style size painting. Because on top of doing our homework, we also need to achieve a level 4 painting skill and a level 2 handiness skill. Um, I wish that there was a writing one. I guess that'd be something that we could kind of reach out to the to the mod creator and be like, can you make a writing one? Because I really wanted her to go into the writing career, but we're going to act like this is like the closest we could get to writing. So anyway, she's just going to work on some painting like everybody else. One cool thing I like about this mod too is that even though the Sims actually come to class, they really work on schoolwork. They really, you know, they really, uh, I guess we can gossip about office romances. That, that doesn't seem realistic. Let's not do that. Um, let's just talk. Uh, I don't want to gossip at all. I just want to get to know people today because we don't really know anybody to be gossiping <laughs> you can't be like girl did you see such and such like you don't even know these people um let's ask about our day let's ask her a question of course uh so let me see who else is in our class we got uh so you guys can start familiarizing yourself we got iris here and again if you guys need links to mods or, or, or custom content because a lot of these people have custom content now. we got david uh we got uh I know, what's his name? Yeah. Oh, goodness. She's over here complaining about something. Uh, Dion, and then we got Amaya, and then we got Spencer. Wait. Spencer? I think his name is so long. I need to go fix that. Anyway, his name is supposed to be Spencer. Alonzo, um, Kylie, and then Willow, and then Bryson. And then, for some reason, this girl is not doing her, her schoolwork at all. But um, I think that's it. I think we do have a professor, but I don't physically see him right now so uh maybe he comes in tomorrow because i know we have like some days will be lectures and some days will be like just you writing or you taking care of your uh your skills so uh let's discuss some local fish i'm trying to do some college type stuff like we would be talking about uh i guess let's ask about our day oh let's talk to her get a bit and discuss interest a bit all right cool so we rocked it out of the park we're pretty good for the rest of the day we could continue chatting and just get to know each other or we could finish working on our painting skill because like i said we need to get to level four in order to get a good uh, grade so part of me is like do we sit there and um let's get some pictures here do we sit there and um, actually like work only at school or because like, when we get home, we have homework. So do I want to work on painting skill and handing a skill at the house? I don't know. Because uh, the thing is, it's like we can work on it at school. So I might not do any of this stuff outside of the school. I might just go home and do our studies and stuff. And then that way she can still have time to socialize. So then we get to the point where it's going to be hard to kind of maintain doing schoolwork and socializing and working on skills. But um, at least we could get, don't, oh, she's checking us out. She's like, okay, that looks good. All right, thank you. Uh, discuss some fine cuisine a bit. But we want to get some prints. Audrina, oh, her day's about to end. So let's put it in inventory because we want to take it with us. Um, because people will scrap your painting quick. You saw her scrap hers real quick. <laughs> so take it before, she's, before she takes it. Take it, Audrina. Yeah, take it. Okay, so we're making some friends. She's definitely, even though she still is kind of tense because she's not used to being around so many people, she's definitely making some. Oh, I thought we were done. 
We're not done yet? Okay. Harvey. Okay, she's like just finalizing some stuff. All right, cool. So we're pretty much done. I guess we could try to eat our sandwich. Do we still have a good we do have a sandwich? Let's eat our BLT sandwich and then we can still kind of like touch base with people. I really want her to kind of like meet some guys, but I want it to happen naturally. She's not the type of sim that's just going to approach a guy and just start talking to him. So I kind of want it to happen naturally, but um, she wants to chat with Bryson. So since Bryson is kind of like, uh, where is Bryson at? I, oh, there he is. Okay, so let's come over here and chat with him a little bit. I'm just going to let her kind of like lead the reins and what she's feeling like. I'm going to praise his worth at work ethic. He's over here painting. I kind of want to see what everybody's got going on. He's working on like a little bowl with fruit. Uh, your boy's over here. He's getting flirty from the forest. I don't know why. She is working on a forest too, it seems like. Um, so we're over here chatting with him. She's working. I mean, a lot of them are working on forests and stuff. I guess we, oh, okay. She's working on a rainy day type painting. She's working on the the, the, the bunny rabbit. Uh, we could stay late if we feel like we needed to, but I'm going to let her, I mean, we already did fairly good at school today. So I'm going to let her go on and go home. All right, guys, we are back at home and I think everybody else is coming home too. Hopefully they had a decent day at school. There are going to be some days, I guess I'll toggle what their responsibilities are while they're at school. I'm going to go on and let her start her homework though, because we don't know what the evening's going to bring, but I would like to go out and probably do something with our, um, our friends and then we can finish oh no we can clean it up we can't finish eating it all right well that's fine we can do homework and then i kind of want to hang her painting up because she's gonna need some decor for her room so let's frame that and then in the meanwhile i think i'm gonna ask uh the butler uh, of course he's oh they're okay they're eating oh they got tiramisu okay so they went and got something out the refrigerator but i'm gonna ask him to cook um Let's see, what can he cook for us? Drew, can you cook for us something before she starts doing her homework? Let's get that toggled up first because they're going to all need to eat. But her fun level is super low. So we definitely want to make sure we stay on top of her social. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's kind of easy to kind of go to school and just be like, you know, I, I got I got work. I got work. I got work. I got work. Anyway, so she's going to finish. All right, cool. So she's going to get him to cook that for us. And then we're going to go do our homework. So let's do our homework a bit. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to kind of like watch and see what everybody's doing. Whoa. Why are they up in here? Up against. Wait, y'all. So somebody cooked for us. Okay. Why did he put it in here? Uh, that makes absolute. Why is he coming in here to cook? Y'all, tell me that makes any. That don't make no sense. Okay, we're gonna have to go grab. Let me put this in our inventory. Put that in our. Put. Angel does not own this item. How do I get it out of here? I don't want it in here. That's like stupid as I don't. Why is he coming in the bathroom and clean up? And you know what's gonna be the issue? Like they're all gonna sit in here and be like trying to eat stuff. What is wrong with the counters in here where he can't cook in here? I had him visualize like. He would cook in here and then I could just drag it, you know, to a place where they could like just grab themselves something to eat. Because that makes no sense to be sitting there eating in the doggone bathroom. Like, are you kidding me? Did, wait, you know what? Did I lock it? I didn't lock it because apparently he's going in there to so allow access to Butler. And then this should be for everyone. No, everybody should be able to get in there, but he should be able to get to the cook spot. I have no idea. That is the weirdest thing. Anyway, so she's, are you working on your homework, girl? Are you working on your homework for me? All right, so she's going to work on her homework, and then hopefully we'll get a chance to go do something. Um, you guys tell me in the comment box what some clubs you want to see, because normally when you're in college, you have, like, clubs and different little after-school activities. I know for sure I'm going to do, like, a bowling league. I'll probably do, like, a little yoga club, and they'll meet on certain days. And, you know, maybe we'll do the yoga club today. Um, she wants to chat with Sophie. Okay. Uh, I just realized that's not the girl that I needed to get. <laughs> but uh, we do need to do something. So... In a minute, I'll have her come down here and grab a serving of that. And let me see what the butler is doing. For some reason, he likes cooking. Okay, so he did all of that in here, y'all, just to come out. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. And he's just sitting here not doing nothing. So how about I get you to go do your homework? Go do your homework. And you too, Angel, go do your homework. Because they're just sitting there standing there. I thought I had autonomy on. I need to double check that because I don't. I don't want them just standing around just like, yeah, it's on. Okay. I did take aging off though, because I don't want them to age up while they're here. We're going to like stand, we're going to keep the time standing still while we're doing this LP as much as we can. Um, oh, I got to press play. I got to press play. All right. They go do their homework. Uh, who else needs to do their homework? I want to do your homework, girl. 
uh, like I said, I'm not trying to micromanage them, but I at least want them to do what they need to do as far as school and stuff goes. So that way all of us could succeed. Some of them have been on autonomously doing their homework, but others have not. So it's like, I have to feel like I have to stay on top of it. But uh, let's see, is the butler cooking now for us? I'm sorry, y'all gonna hear all sorts of noise in the background because my kids are down here playing. Okay, good. See, he made that. Awesome. All right. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just putting it in the middle of the table. And then they can just all come grab. For some reason, I can't drag this one, but I could drag that one. So that's just so weird. Um, anyway, so in a minute, let me see who all needs to eat. Everybody's good. Perfect. All right, cool. Um, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody's good. All right, cool. They're just standing around doing their homework. I don't know why they're not going to sit down. But you know what? She's doing the same thing. She's just standing up doing her homework. But I do want her to uh, go do something fun today. I kind of want to go check out this yoga studio. So I think her and Jessica, I think I'm going to come over here and chat with Jessica a little bit. And just uh, wrong person, wrong person. And then hopefully we can, oh, we can help her with homework. Okay, cool. And then we could kind of say, hey, do you want to go? I, there's this new yoga spot I want to go check out today. Um, and then see if that can uh, get them out the house, for out the dorm for a little bit. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, hopefully they'll get their homework done in a decent time. And if the yoga thing works out and Audrina loves it, then we could totally have her join like a yoga club. I feel like some workout clubs, of course, um, some reading clubs, some video game clubs, you know, clubs like that. But I was trying to think along the lines of what would be in the college situation. Something, that, of course, that'll help them boost their um, their skills. That is like the ideal thing to do. But uh, it's kind of hard when you don't know. You know, well, it's, it's kind of hard to like trying to think of everything, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get you guys to take on some clubs and stuff that we might we could do. Uh, I might actually have her stop for a little bit because she's getting super bored. Um, so I'm going to have her stop. All right, good. So she'll put that down. And for some reason, she puts it like smack on her. I'm going to put it in her pocket because I'm afraid. I had to go route, go, go gather up all their school books last episode because it was like crazy. We had people here using their school books and... It was, it was funny how everybody was just like all over the place with it. But anyway, she's going to go talk to her real quick. Jessica, like I said, is her roommate. So they actually stay in the same room together, even though, you know, she got doormates and everything. But um, she's going to come in here and just kind of be like, girl, do you want to go check out this yoga place? So um, just discuss some interest a bit. Uh, discuss the latest book. Why do we got to sit down and do it, though? Oh, that's right. Because we're helping her with her homework. Um, let me take that off because I don't want to help her with the homework. But we are going to go get something to eat. And she's going to be like, oh, yeah, we can go after I finish with this real quick. I don't want you to sit down, Audrina. And, you know, I guess we can ask her if she wants to come with us, too. Maybe we'll take all the girls with us. Um, and she'll be like, do you want to come, too? We're just going to check out this yoga place today. Let me compliment her outfit a bit. Why are they sitting down? <laughs> That's so weird to me. It's like bow down. Bow down to Queen Audrina. Anyway, so she's going to get up and go on and they all said that they agreed to go and then hopefully we'll go find, oh, she's over here. So we can come over here and ask her if she wants to go too. I'm just going to say, uh, I'm trying to figure out something random we can say. Just ask her a question, I guess. And then we can see if she wants to go too. And then we'll go grab, uh, we'll grab something to eat because you don't want to go to the yoga studio on an empty stomach. Actually, maybe you do. Because <laughs> when you're doing all that stretching and stuff and you got, uh. You got food on your tummy. That might not be cute. That might not be cute at all. But anyway, we'll go ask her if she wants to go. I don't know why he's in the bathroom doing his homework. Y'all, come on. Y'all got plenty of places to go do dog homework. Let me try to see if I can get him to come in here and sit. Uh, maybe he can go sit over here and do his homework. I don't know. Because him just sitting over there. Yeah, thank you. And why every time I talk to them, they sat there and they sit there and do that. Anyway, so come on. Let's go get something to eat. Because she's like just in a bad, horrible mood. Um, we're going to get... I don't want the phobia tea. I want the taco. Let's go grab a taco, uh, what you call it. And then, um, can we get it or no? We have to go. Wait, are you serious? Is she going all the way around y'all just to come get this? Are you kidding me? We can't get it. What in the world? Wait, are we going all the way up just to get the, wait, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This is like such a doggone waste. We're going all the way over here for what? Wait, are you serious? Can we go get... Oh, she went back over here to finish talking to them, I guess. Okay, I guess she's like, after I finish eating, we'll go. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> um, Okay, because it's 6 o'clock. We need to get back because we need to finish our homework. We haven't finished ours. Everybody else is doing their homework, but I'm trying to get Audrina uh, socialized. We're trying to get her a social life and stuff. Bro, can you hurry up, though? Like, real talk? Like, real talk? All right, cool. So we're going to come and sit where? Where are we going to sit at? All right, we're... <laughs> 
<gasps> the butler is just like sitting here. Uh, we're going to act like he's like, the. oh, look how he's looking though. I'm just going to brighten his day a bit. Uh, brag about, I guess, discuss flavor profile. It's excellent quality. So I don't know what we're going to talk about. But anyway, she's just going to talk to him a little bit. I mean, he's standing right there. Um, is Drew over here? Not Drew. What's his name? Sean? Sean Blackridge. Uh, I guess we could discuss some interest uh -huh. with him a little bit. But she's in a horrible mood. So anyway, I'm going to have her finish eating and stuff. And then we're going to head to the yoga studio. Oh. All right, guys, we are at Shine on Yoga Studio. And all the girls are coming in here right now to kind of take this introductory uh, sh uh, yoga class. What in the world? Why is our yoga instructor, Sean Kimbrough? First of all, he's an elder. I mean, he's actually dressed decent. But oh, my gosh, like how he's going to come teach us the class. Anyway, so the girls are just going to get ready. I think Audrina is already ready to go. Um, let's see if he starts the class. Let's see. Is he going to start the class? I think he is. So let's go, hold on, what do we need to do? I forget how to do this. Um, hopefully I'll start the class soon. I'm just going to come over here. I guess we'll just go here and see about getting started. Oh, yeah, he's reading. Are you going to do the, are you going to do the class, Sean? Are you going to do the class? Maybe he's getting himself together. I don't know. Maybe he's remembering some of his poses. Anyway, I guess we'll just come over here and uh, do a yoga routine. Let's do a brain boosting one because that sounds like something that we would want to do. And then I'll have her do a yoga routine, um, energy centering, and then also have her go do a yoga routine of uh, mind concentrating and then have her do one of brain boosting as well so oh audrina is staying wait y'all this is her yoga oh my god i need to give her a makeover i thought i checked everybody's outfits this cannot be her workout outfit are you kidding me angel i guess angel's like i have to be ready at all cost any time of the day anyway so they're doing their little yoga class i wonder why they're facing this way do I have the yoga mat space in the wrong way? I might do. I downloaded this one from the gallery too, but I did have to go in and, and tweak it just a little bit because uh, there was stuff missing on the walls. Uh, so I did add like some wallpaper and some of these decals and stuff over here just to kind of make it a little bit different. Uh, who is this? Who is this guy? Drew. Oh, okay. Drew is our, is our, um, our butler. So why is he not at home taking care of butlering? <laughs> Anyway, so the ladies are, I'm just going to act like they're doing a class. I thought he would come in here and actually give us a class. Uh, for some reason, he's, she's out here talking to Katrina Caliente, Caliente, but I did ask her, okay, I did ask her to come in here and do a energy centering um, yoga thingy. Energy. So, oh my gosh, Adrina, y'all, she is like, oh, she's like, are you kidding me? Sophie, hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me at, di at dinner at Five Star Modern Restaurant? Are you kidding me, Sophie? Of course I do. Ah! Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, y'all. I don't know what to do because Audrina is stinking. She cannot go like this. So I'm going to go on and just cancel it because I want her to be able to get herself together. She's going to go take a shower right now here at the place. And then I'm going to have her actually go use the bathroom too. So as soon as she's done with this, oh my goodness, did you just fall and bust your butt? Your butt, oh, now he starts the class. Are you serious? So I guess it takes a little bit for him to start the class. All right, so let's see. Can I join the class? Oh, I, I'm not going to be able to join y'all. It's already going to be full because it's already full. Darn it. I really wanted to join a yoga class. All right, well, I don't know if the girls are enjoying it or not. I was going to kind of like see if they liked it. And then if so, we could do like a yoga club. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comment box, but we probably need to get out of here anyway so that uh, we can get her ready for bed. It's 919. So yeah, we need to get ready to get out of here anyway. It looks like someone just had an accident. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was like a hot mess. I thought it would be a cute idea just to kind of see if they liked it and then maybe we can do like classes and stuff here, but clearly it's not working out like how I thought it would do. Uh, Baco is part of major chords. Is that like a, um, <laughs> a, uh, what you call it? A music club of some sort? Which one of our girls is in the music uh, thing? I feel like that might be a good one for her to, I never heard of that before. I've been noticing that they've been giving us different, um, she's part of it. Let me see. I'm going to have her go do a friendly introduction to him because more than likely she could eventually, um, oh my gosh, my kids are so loud. I apologize. But maybe she can, um get to know him so that way she can maybe possibly join major chords eventually uh i think the rest of the girls are in other stuff yeah so um i'm gonna have him do that have her do that and then maybe she could get to know him and then um did, she, did we do it did we introduce ourselves friendly introduction 
Maybe because she's so big. I wonder how that, that's going to be cool if there's like a, a music club called Major Chords. I'm thinking that that's what that is. But anyway, uh, where did Audrina go? Oh, I don't think this was like a pool, Audrina, for you to actually get in, darling. I'm going to go ahead and send her home and then I'm going to try to get her. For some reason, she won't. I guess because she's like taking a shower. Maybe it's because he's part of the class. So um, we just have to remember that Bako Jang is part of a group called the Major Chords. I think that that'd be kind of cool. Page turners. Okay, they must have added some more clubs or whatever. But I was definitely going to take advantage. She came out with wings, y'all. What kind of glitch is that? <laughs> anyway, I sent Audrina home. I'm just going to have... I'm trying to get her to get introduce herself to Baco so we could at least have that um, that that situation done. Because she might want to... Look, the girls were over here like that. Yoga class was a trip. <laughs> over here talking. I don't know if the yoga club would be good for them or not. But at least they're trying some new stuff and doing some new things and things like that. Uh, is Anna Marie... Oh, that's Anne-Marie. Uh, it's her. Okay. Is she introducing herself to? Oh, she's using the bathroom. Girl, can you please? I think it's because he's part of this class. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, my God. Oh, they're all, like, laid out. Is that part of the pose? Oh, that's part of the pose. Oh, look, he even fell asleep. What kind of what kind of uh, professor or whatever you are for you to fall asleep during the class? Like, seriously. I hope that, I wonder if this really helps their grades and stuff. If they do, like, a mind concentrating or a brain boost type thing. Anyway, why is he thinking about babies when you see this girl? She's like, hi, my name is such and such. I heard you're part of, what's her name? What's her name? Angel. My name is Angel. I heard you're part of the major chords. I'm going to have her really quickly uh, talk about major chords. That may be something that she might want to do later on. I think that would be a cool idea for us to get her involved in that. Like I said, I'm trying not to be too into the other Sims' lives, but I do kind of want to, you know, see what they're doing and see where, where they're going. And, oh, he's bored with it. All right. So at least we kind of talked about it already. I haven't been in the Major Chords Gathering, so I can't really say much about Don. Don is the leader of the Major Chords? What? I'm assuming that the Major Chords is like a music club. I'm assuming that. So we'll we'll take advantage of it later on. But anyway, I'm going to send all the ladies home and I'm going to go on it in this episode. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Um, we're still getting our bearings a little bit with this LP, just kind of like figuring out like what we're going to do. I have so much planned for it that I'm just like trying to jam pack it full of stuff. So you got to excuse me if this episode was all over the place, but believe me, it'll make sense eventually, hopefully. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.